Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 458 of the Aspirations Challenge. Um, so we officially have custody of Vera, who is outside making a mess, not her best moment. Um, but yeah, she lives with us now, so I wanted to have her move in well before Teresa, her mom, passed away, just in case she got like passed on to another household or something. Um, so that's where we're at. And one of you guys said quite a few episodes ago that you thought maybe Vera was a werewolf. I don't know how you cracked that code. I didn't, I didn't see what you were saying. Um, but you totally called it. You nailed it. She is indeed a werewolf. Um, because I'm guessing Teresa is a werewolf, which I did not know. Um, not sure what I'm going to do about that. I have never played with werewolves. So... I don't know what her needs are or what she's going to want. <laughs> I, I simply have no idea. Um, I'm not going to give her any kind of like makeover. I'm not going to edit her look because she actually ages up tomorrow. So there's really no point. Um, she is wild, loves sounds, has a good appetite. She's got the Sulani Mana trait, of course, because that's been passed down for quite a few generations now. And she hates being carried. Uh, so <laughs> some little random tidbits about her. Uh, I'm going to have her come upstairs and maybe, oh, I was going to have her play with her dollhouse, but that is broken. So we'll get Luca to repair that. Uh, so the whole werewolf thing, my first instinct was to get rid of that and just cheat it away uh, and not make her, oh, this door is locked, I believe. Is it? Oh, no, it's, I thought it, hold on a second. Let's just test this theory. I, I did have it locked a while ago. I don't know if it's still locked. Um... No, we're good. So yeah, my first instinct was just to go to MC Command Center and remove the werewolf. Um, I guess it's not really a trait, but whatever it is, I was going to remove it, just make her human and that that's it. So, but then I thought, well, you know, we do have um, werewolf aspirations that do need to be completed at some point. So maybe we shouldn't do that and we'll just kind of see where things go. So for right now, I'm going to leave her as a werewolf. Um, when she becomes a child, it might be, be become like more apparent um, what I have to do to take care of her because I honestly don't know yet. So yeah, just leaving that. Um, and as for Luca, I had him go do some rock climbing just because I'm trying to build that skill a little bit more. And he met some new sims. He met uh, Mayumi um, Norma and Misaki. And so we, we've kind of been working on relationships with them. Uh, right now his main goal is to make as many friends as he can and to make that a very high relationship so that we can convince them to break up with their spouse. Um, and this will complete his villainous Valentine aspiration. Uh, I don't know who this is. Colby. You've got quite the personality. No, they want him to be a chef. That's not going to happen. But thanks. <laughs> He's not going to be a chef. That That's not him. Let's invite um, Misaki over. We could do some cloud gazing. Their relationship is quite good because I've been working on it off camera a little bit. I feel like uh, this aspiration has been really slow going and I've been forcing you guys to watch him build these relationships and it takes a long time and it's sometimes not super interesting. So I thought I would do a little bit of that off camera. Also, there's something about Misaki that is it's something's clicking something is going on between these two i don't know what it is but i just i don't and i don't know why i decided this i just look at her and i think like there's something about her that i'm drawn to which um I, which means luca is drawn to i guess um masaki is a stay-at-home mom oh she has kids i did not know that let's look into this <laughs> Uh, I want to know more about that. List children. She has two kids, Amaya and Jolene. Okay, interesting. And then she also has a wife. I believe she's, yeah, she's married to Yuna, who we also know. Um, so yeah, we're going to break up a family. Deep conversation. I mean, there's no romantic interaction going on here at all. Um, let's try deep thoughts, deep conversation. Okay. So she loves the outdoors. She's a bro and she's proper. So we know all of her traits. I just don't know if we're close enough to convince her. 
Um, what else can we do here? Attempt mistletoe kiss. I don't want to do that. I don't think I want to cross the line here into romance because honestly, if we were to go down that road, I feel like she would be the one. And that sounds crazy to talk about. I mean, does Luca even have the one? Is that even in the cards for him? Is that even in his future? I don't know, but if it is, I feel like Masaki might be it. So I kind of want to put that on the back burner and not do anything romantic with her just yet. Uh, if we get to that point, it might be his his forever, which I don't even know if that's going to happen, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go. Um, okay, so I want to see what their relationship is. They have good compatibility and they are good friends. I would love for them to be best friends if possible. Um, swap baby milestone stories, I guess. This is nerve wracking. I, I want this to work so badly and it, it has not been working so far. Let's tell her a knock knock joke and tell her an engaging story. We might have to do this quickly before she leaves. Oh, I'm so nervous about it. I really am because when they say no, it does impact their relationship a little bit more. I, I think we could rebuild it with her, but still, I just want this to work so badly. Okay, we're going to try it. Break up with Yuna. Is he flirting right now? Oh, I don't know how she's feeling about this. No, they always say no. <laughs> we don't need your opinion about our relationship. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we really struck out there. I'm going to send her home because there's no point. I, I feel like if we got a relationship pretty much as high as it's going to go and she still said no. Uh, we could try with Mayumi because she's married. We could try the other side of that. We know her wife, Yuna, I think. I swear he's met her. Where is it? No, he definitely did meet Misaki's wife. Where is it, though? This music is like driving me crazy. I'm going to turn that. No, not next song. Just off. <laughs> um, yeah, I swear he met her while he was out rock climbing, but I don't see her on here now. Okay. Well, I definitely did see her around. Oh, let's actually go. Let's give some food to Vera. I don't even know what she's doing. Smashed her dollhouse. That definitely happened. <laughs> she was left unattended for many hours, so it makes sense. I'm excited for her to age up tomorrow, though. I feel like Luca definitely got the easiest um, parenting. Uh, oh, oh my God. What's happening? This is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but well, here it is. Here goes. I have a crush on you. Um, let's go on a date. Let's just be friends. I'm going to say let's just be friends. Oh, sure. No worries. Let's just pretend this never happened. Okay. I mean, that's not like Luca. Normally he'd be like, yeah, let's date. But... <laughs> But, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm quite there yet. Tori also wants to go on a date. <laughs> Everybody wants Luca. I mean, that does not help with his, he doesn't need another ego stroke. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, Luca got the easiest side of parenting. Like he didn't have to do too much with like babies, infants, and toddlers a little bit. And my plan is to still have stayovers with, um, Ty and Connor while we have Vera, so he will be taking care of two kids at some point. It's almost Vera's birthday. Okay, so we're gonna eat our pancakes and then we're going to read Vera to sleep. It's only 6 p.m., but that's okay. <laughs> We've got so much stuff to do. Unfortunately, because he knows so many Sims, they're always, they're constantly dying and it makes him sad. So I'm gonna probably cheat that going forward because it's very frustrating <laughs> that his friends keep dying. Okay, so we're going to read her to sleep and then repair this because she broke it again. Yeah. And then tomorrow she gets to age up. I'm so excited about that. And then who do we want to work on next? <laughs> um, there's Mayumi. I'm still trying to work on Tori. That's been kind of difficult, though. Gladys, that wasn't going anywhere. Kiara, his, uh, his friend Kiara actually died. Is Teresa in a relationship? No. Oh, yeah, we did convince her to break up. That I remember that happening. <laughs> okay, we'll try um, Mariella. Is she in a relationship? 
She is. Let's try Mariella. I like how he puts her to bed and then uh, proceeds to talk on the phone in her bedroom. Uh, they have like a tiny bit of a negative relationship, so maybe this isn't going to work, but we could still try. Um, Simone is here. I don't think she's in a relationship. No, she's not. Actually, I think I checked that last time. Okay, um, let's try... Do we want to... He's feeling sad again. That's very frustrating. Let's try Mayumi. They have a bit of a friendship going. This poor guy. <laughs> I wonder why he's been unsuccessful in getting Sims to break up. Do you have to be in a good mood to do that, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's chat with her. Um, see if we know all of her traits. That's always a good way to get to know somebody. I don't think we know any of her traits, actually. Oh, she's foodie and she's lactose intolerant. And then we could maybe ask to stargaze. See how this goes. This poor guy. Um, oh, and, and she's socially awkward. You know, he used to be like that as well. Um, but he's kind of overcome that. Once again, here we are lying in the grass with someone. I mean, he spends a lot of time doing this because this is tough. Um, under mean socials in other sims, perform the breakup social to convince a sim to dump or divorce. Yeah, okay, I was hoping there'd be like another hint there on how to make that successful, but there was nothing. So with Mayumi, we're just kind of trying to lay the groundwork. Uh, we can probably send her home now. Um, I think I'll have to do it through the cheats because there was no option for that and send him to bed. He's going to have to stop going to bed at 3 a.m. now that he has a child living with him. All right, I don't think that was a total waste of time. We did get to know her a little bit better. Vera, I'm going to keep an eye on her because she's still, she's going to want to wake up soon. I really don't know how to care for a werewolf. I don't know what their needs are or how they're different from a regular sim. Um, we're going to have to find out. Oh, I bet Vera doesn't have very many skills. Not really, no. Teresa didn't do the best job with her. <laughs> um, but yeah, tomorrow we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, because she, when she's a child, I don't know if she'll have just regular needs as a kid or werewolf needs. I have no idea what to expect, but we will find out. And I hope we still have the zombie cake that we used for Luca's birthday, because that would be perfect. Is he crying in his sleep? <laughs> I don't blame him. I feel the same way. I feel like he's in such a rut with his aspiration. All right. I can't wait any longer. I want to age up Vera <laughs> so badly. So let's do that. Let's put this cake. Um, oh, there is no cake. Of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, they had the cake at the party. So I'm assuming everyone just ate it. <laughs> Which is what you do with cake at a party. You don't normally save it for the next birthday. Uh, let's just do the matcha tea cake. I don't know. Oh, Vera. You know, she. I feel like she's been allowed to do whatever she wants for so long. This is kind of cute, though. He's going to make her a cake for breakfast. What is he feeling? Not enough exercise. Uh, so he's energized, but also is not getting enough exercise. We need to focus on that again, because that was a huge part of his life. We do have his um, like little home gym, but I guess I haven't been using it as much as we normally did. Okay, Vera. I don't think she can get down the stairs. <laughs> I'm just going to teleport her right here. Add birthday candles. That's such a cute cake. I've always wondered, like, what is on top of that? <laughs> I think it's strawberries, but I don't know. What are you doing? Don't. No. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. They're not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, you know what? I think this is still going to work. 
We may be able to blow up the candles on a cake that's been eaten already. Well, that's a first. That's okay, I'll take it. Much better than making another one. I can't believe Vera's gonna be a child. That's crazy. Okay, so she is a gloomy sim. Interesting. I just gave her a random aspiration because I never really do them anyway. Um, okay, so she... We know that she's gloomy. I It's been a while since I've had a gloomy sim. These sims tend to be sad, can share melancholy thoughts to other sims, and while sad, gain a boost to their creative skill. Um, okay, as for the whole werewolf thing, it doesn't seem to be impacting her needs in any way. She just has regular needs like anyone else. So that's a relief because I... I don't know. Oh, wait, did that say take a wild shower? Okay, so she is going to have some little, like, werewolf quirks, it seems like. Um, let's serve some breakfast. Let's make eggs and toast. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess this is the first time that I'll be playing with a werewolf, so I am kind of excited to see what they can do differently, but also a little bit nervous. I don't know how many aspirations we have for the werewolves. Maybe there's just one, but we should probably... At some point, we have to complete them all. So maybe this is kind of a blessing that Vera is a werewolf. Let me just look here. What would that be under? Um, not animal. I seriously don't know what the werewolf... Is there even an aspiration for werewolves? Fortune, knowledge, there has to be. Location. Love nature popularity okay um not seeing anything here oh here it is werewolf initiate become a werewolf level up to run or what what does it say runt okay experience a full moon read werewolf books that's it <laughs> i mean we could do that with vera it's not that interesting but if she develops other traits that are super defining and kind of lead us into another direction then we'll just do that. Oh, wait, don't order delivery. Just grab leftovers. Apparently, he just gave up on making food. <laughs> that for, he does that a lot. I think he just hates cooking. Um, I was also thinking of maybe getting like a live-in butler. I don't know, because we have a lot of money. We have almost 90,000 simoleons. And I mean, he's not going to go through that money in his lifetime. He's never going to work. That's that. <laughs> That has become very apparent. I thought there'd be a time where he would have to work, but we managed to make a, a little plan and he got his mom's inheritance, so it worked out. Um, I'd still like for him to have some money left over to give to Vera when she moves out. Rich cooking level six. That's impressive. I didn't think we'd ever get there. Okay, um, tomorrow is big summer blowout. Let's go work out because he hasn't done that in a while. Vera is feeling tense, stronger than I thought from accidentally breaking something. Uh, Vera will never quite get used to this newfound strength, for werewolves be sometimes even mundane tasks become a challenge. Oh, okay, so she broke the shower. It would seem. Oh, we have two stereos. <laughs> it's been like that for like two or three episodes. That's really funny. We can get rid of that because we have no more infants. Um, yeah, we had the birthday party for Luca and I definitely um, added another stereo. Didn't even see that one sitting there. Uh, so what do we want Vera to do today? Like there's not much for kids. I'm going to definitely add some kid friendly stuff in the in the house for her to do. Update her room as well. There, you're getting your exercise that you so badly wanted. <laughs> Uh, okay, who could we, who can we victimize next? We did meet Norma. They have good compatibility, uh, but she's not in a relationship, so that's not going to work. Uh, Raylin, we broke her up already. <laughs> we could still try with Tori. You know what? Let's try with Tori again. If nothing else, we'll get a woohoo out of it. Because <laughs> that seems to work every time. Uh, Tori is Connor's mom, which is interesting because we actually never see Connor. I don't think he's even, like taking care of Connor yet? Or has he even met him? I, I'm sure he has. I can't remember at all. Okay, let's go to Cloud Gaze. 
I mean, these two definitely get along, but I'd like them to be closer. And she is married, so we could try. <laughs> see how it goes uh she's a foodie and a kleptomaniac maybe if we get to know her other trait that would help this is getting to be a little bit ridiculous <laughs> i can't believe we've only been successful four times it's gonna take a long time we still have all of vera's childhood and then as well um when she's a teenager as well so we have lots of time but and i feel like i'm hyper focused on this right now um and i'm sorry if it's not the content you were hoping for i just I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to panic about it a little bit. <laughs> oh, and we did get to level six of the rock climbing skill in the last episode. So he can do the excursion pretty much any time. Uh, we do need to buy his own adventure gear. That's like the major thing. Look at their relationship. It's just like, it's doing really well. Simone is calling to chat. Uh, no, I don't care. Um, Tori is so utterly smitten with Luca that she is proposing marriage. What? Are they even dating? Um. Well. I don't. What? <laughs> She's already married. I'm going to say no to that. Oh my god. It killed their relationship. Yikes. Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh no. Oh no. Admire courage. That's really humiliating. Ah, we should have just said yes. Accuse of moving too fast. That's really awkward. I honestly didn't know they were even dating. This woman is literally married. Yeah, she's married. How can we be engaged? Wait, she has two kids? I'm so confused. I thought she only had one. Tell me only one of them is, our, is ours. Like, I should know about the other one. Connor and Lionel? Le Lionel? Lee, I don't know. I don't know what that name is. <laughs> uh, it, don't think it's his kid, though. Let's just double check because I didn't get a notification. Normally, they give us like a courtesy call to let us know. But no, we, we still only have three kids. We're doing good. Oh, that sucks. We have to we have to rebuild this relationship. Is it even worth it? Um, yeah, I honestly didn't know they were in a relationship. Or are they? Let me just double check. I don't think they can ask you, they can propose if you're not already dating. Ask to be girlfriend. They're not even dating. Wow, she really took that to the next level. Like, she just she just went ahead and, and blurted that out. <laughs> Teresa wants to come over and hang out. No, we've one baby mama at a time, please. This is this is getting to be intense. Oh, Vera is doing something creative. What's she doing? Playing with her dolls. Okay. <laughs> uh, you might as well get used to your dad pretty much ignoring you. Okay, Tori. We're, we're slowly building it back up. Waffle is so cute, by the way. He'll just come over and lay down with us. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know. Should I just try it? I mean, she was bold enough to ask him to marry her. Like, we should be able to at least suggest that she break up with her husband. All right. Oh, this time we're going to the backyard. They do make a really nice couple. I've got my eye on Masaki, though. I really think that they... I don't know. Can we see Luca, like, settling down and getting married? I, I don't know. But I would love that for him. They just became good friends. Um, I just got just got the gig. I got the gig just for you. Oh no, we're not we're not going to work. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Um, she's trying to leave. I don't want that. <laughs> this is probably not gonna work. I I need to move on to different sims. Break up with Griffin. Please. Please someone break up with their husband. No. That's what I thought. <laughs> We're in love. That can't be because you literally just asked him to marry you. Let's go woohoo. <laughs> like I said, if nothing else... Uh, oh no, now he's having a midlife crisis. I don't, bl I don't blame him at all. Um, he's not where he wants to be in life. 
Wait, are we not gonna woohoo? That was my plan. Okay, that's gonna work. <laughs> Poor Vera, like this kid is just left to her own devices. I think she just, did she just like grab some food on her own? Yeah, she's doing fine. She's doing completely fine. There is not a big girl bed for her, so we'll need to do, <laughs> we'll need to do that. Um, yeah, I think what we need to do is set our sights on completely new Sims. So we still have Mariella. She just became an elder. Um, and then nobody else that we're really close with. Like Gladys, I tried, but they didn't really build a relationship. Um, we could also do it in a non-romantic way with like male Sims, but the whole point of the aspiration is to be a villainous Valentine. So that's kind of why I feel like it should be in almost a romantic way. All right, let's go grab some leftovers. Um, okay, so he was having a midlife crisis, uh, the march of time. Every day, I was trying to read that. Every day, just the same old thing. Time is passing way too fast, and Luca is not getting any younger. Um, re risable rejection. It's not surprising that they didn't want to break up. Next time, a little more mood setting, a little more friendship first. Mood setting, what does that mean? I'm not sure what that means. So are we saying the mood has to be right for that to work? I mean, it would make sense, but I don't really know what that means. Oh, I don't know who this is. Let's go meet this person. We might as well. He's always happy to meet new Sims. This is Diane and she's in a relationship with a werewolf. So we love that for her. Brighten her day. Um, should we do some stargazing? His, his, his move. That's just, he does the same thing every time. Um, actually, yeah, let's go deep thoughts, ask to stargaze. And then I'll probably do this off camera because it's getting to be very repetitive. <laughs> Sentiment gained. She is self-assured. This could be the one. <laughs> I mean, we need six more, but we'll just go one at a time. Okay, Vera, you know what? You can just sleep in Luca's bed because we only have the one bed right now. Very angry, beastly growth spurt. Growing up is weird enough as it is, but now this? Uh, moon madness. Although not quite yet a full-fledged werewolf, Vera still feels the agonizing influence of the moon. Okay, so she's still feeling all these werewolf things even though she's not fully a werewolf because she's not old enough. But I still find that really interesting. So I guess once she becomes a teenager, things will really change for her. Look at this relationship with Diane. I was going to stop recording, but now I'm thinking like, it's going pretty fast. We may be able to swing this. <laughs> Probably not, actually. It is two o'clock in the morning. She's going to want to leave soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to try that in the next episode. Hopefully it'll be successful. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.